Hey, it's Dark Jedi. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Strike by Bolero. It's a bowling game and it's also a skills app that's a lot of fun. And if you've never played a skills game before, what you're going to want to do is go to the description of this video and click the link and set up your account. Now, when you make your first account and you make your first deposit, if you use this promo code, we'll both get $20. If you make a second deposit, we'll both get $10. It's as easy as that. So go to the description of this video to get started if you do not already have a skills account. Now, I downloaded this game yesterday and had a lot of fun playing it, but I'll be honest with you, I am not very good. But we're going to take a look at it. I'm playing for a dollar, and it's bowling, just like I remember it at home, I mean, or at the bowling alley. So you can do little things like that. Pull the ball back. Now, I'm going to put spin on it. So I have my finger to the left of the screen. And as I release, I'm going to slide it to the right. And there's that. So there's little things like oil on, on, the, on the alley. And like if it has a lot of oil, the ball is just going to slide before it actually turns on the grip. And if it has a little bit of oil, it's uh, going to hook really hard across the uh the the table so this is exactly bowling you get 10 uh innings or man i don't even know what it's called in bowling but you get 10 for oh, frames there we go you get 10 frames to get the highest score possible and you're playing somebody else that's playing the exact same 10 frames as you there's nothing special so like in other skills games that I reviewed, there's maps you have to remember and best places you have to hit. Not with this bowling game. It's the same alley every time. So the only variable is how much oil the... Um, oh, there we go. We got a, a spare. Uh, how much oil the alley has, which in real life, that is a real life condition that you have to deal with. So the fact that they made that a component of the game is actually pretty neat. Uh, split? Can we get it? No, no split. Okay, um, I'm not really focusing. It's really hard to be consistent at this game because you gotta you gotta get your your strike like your pattern down the way you. Oh, I hooked it too hard. Um, you gotta get a good feel for it, and it's 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 almost like a technique. Like once you have your technique, you'll be able to bowl strikes very consistently. Like that pin on the left there, I can just hit by not, not throwing it fast and, and, and not putting too much spin on it. And I, I don't know what it is with this alley, but I, I just don't. Oh, there we go. Strike. First strike. Now, if you do get a strike, the best thing to do is follow it up with another strike. So let's get another strike right here. Oof. I left one hanging. Okay, let's. Let's get this one. Let's pick up the spare. Okay. If you get a spare, the best thing to do is follow it up with a strike. So let's, my score was really lacking. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's get those strikes. Oh, come on. I got the hardest. I got one of the hardest splits. Okay. So anyways. Oh, and I missed everything. Okay. So this is frame 10. This one, you can hit it three times if you get all strikes. So let's get a strike. Boom. Okay. Let's get another strike. Oh, come on. That would have been a nice strike for how bad I bowled the whole the whole inning or the whole game. Okay, so we picked up the spare. I scored 125. Surprisingly, that's about what I score in real life. So <laughs> we're going to finish it. And it will pair you up with someone of your skill. So if you really suck at the game, you still have a fair shot of winning because it's not going to put you up against the best people. But as you get better, you will start getting um, paired with better people. And what's really cool is they have a black light bowling. And this reminds me of Friday night going to the bowling alley where all the lights are on and um, it was a lot of fun. So this one I'm playing for, it's $1.80 each and the winner gets $3. So the, the stakes are a little bit higher on this one, but, oh, that's like, I don't even know how to hit that. Uh, let's see here. That looks good. That looks good. Oh, I thought I was going to hit at least three of them. Okay. So, um, yeah, this reminds me of Friday night going to the bowling alley, having all these pins lit up. Man, the game's just giving me all these hard splits. Now, so 
Sometimes you can get lucky if you hit it on the left side, it shoots it out to the right. But for advice on this game, just watch professional bowling. It's basically the same thing, like how to handle splits and how to hook the ball into the into the <laughs> into the frame. Oh, yeah, I don't know my bowling lingo. So if you're a bowling enthusiast and you're watching this, I'm sorry. I bowl like once a year and it's usually like a charity thing for work. Oh, come on. There we go. That looks good. Okay. And that, that what is that? Like a goat bowling up at the top? That thing cracks me up. Oh, come on. I, I know I'm hitting it just right, but I'm I'm bowling it too fast. So the ball just bounces off the pins. You, you kind of want to go a little slower. So it just kind of rolls through them. But if you roll it slower, the hook is more pronounced. So it's it's kind of like a catch 22. But this one, I just want to throw it as fast as I can. Oh. Ah, to try to scatter them up. And I'm not doing any better than the last one. What you really want to see is spares and strikes, like, in consecutive order. Like, right there, that would have been nice if I picked up that spare. There was only one pin. Two frames left. I don't think I'm going to win anything on this one. Oh, come on, get that strike. Oh, that would have been a good... Way to wrap up the, the game. Okay, so ending 10. Let's get that strike. Ooh, I did not put enough spin on it. So just like in real life, you're going to have to know how to bowl. And build a technique. You're not just going to bowl strikes consistently. Like You're going to have to learn the best way. So 120. I don't think that's good enough to win any money, honestly. Uh, unless that guy bowled like 100. Let's see. Yeah, 135. So that's the thing, though. That was a very beatable score for my skill set. I've hit 170 before. I don't feel like I wasted money. I had a fair shot of winning it. And, and that's the thing is that I really enjoy this game. So if I have a fair shot of winning, even at my skill level, like I'm tempted to just play another one. And that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I feel like if I had just gotten one or two more spares... Like on the easy ones, I I would have, I would have uh, beat that guy, and watch like I'm gonna do much better on this one, like 170, and the guy's gonna get like 185. But that's what's cool is that I I, I do see that I'm paired up with him before I start the match, so you know their score is already in place. It's not something that you know it it thought I could beat them going into it, so. Let's see here. That looks good. Ooh, that was a harder spare to pick up. So whenever you get a spare, follow it up with a strike for maximum score. Ah. Uh, and I know a little bit about how bowling scoring works. Like, if you get a spare, the next roll, all the pins are added. So that's why you want a strike, because then it adds 10 to that spare. And then a strike, it adds the next two rolls. So you want to get another strike. At a minimum, so that that way you're you're basically rolling the points together, and that was horrible pin action. Oh, okay, good. Let's follow it up with another strike right here. Oh, that's so good. Okay, another strike. Let's get a turkey. My first turkey. No, that hit it perfectly. Ah, okay. Um, Ooh, that looked good. I thought that was going to bounce off and hit the orange. That looks good. <sighs> okay, so if I can pick up this spare, I'll be in good shape to win this one. Oh, there was a third one behind there. <laughs> and, and if you're patient, I've been playing this enough, you can watch the hit. So you can see what pins you need to hit, like where they are, like right there. I just click through it. I, I'm like, eh, I don't need to know that. But that would have been helpful to know on the last one. So that ends my score there. No 
138, a little bit higher than what I pulled before today. I would have beat that other guy. This one is 128. So woohoo, I won. I got $3 back. And that's where it gets tough. I have to decide, am I going to play one more? Or just call it a day. I'll play one more. And it's looking for an opponent now. So we don't know who's going to match up. I just need to bowl my best score possible. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that would have been nice to start off with a strike. But I'll take the spare. All right, so I start off with the spare. Follow that up with a strike. Ooh, come on. And sometimes the pins are like wanting to do something, like they're barely moving. They're not going to knock anything down. But it, it just waits. For, it makes you watch the whole animation and I'm like clicking the, the phone to get to the next one that looks good Ooh, that's kind of a tough split there I don't even think that's considered a split but you know I usually miss those up so I'm happy I hit that oh come on this is like spare city like let's see I have four spares in a row Oh, I forgot to angle the <laughs> I forgot to angle the shot. Okay. Um I was looking at the score and it threw me off my rhythm. Oh man. So my spare streak is over. Let's get a strike. Oh yes. Okay. First strike of the match. Let's get another strike to follow it up. Ooh. Okay. Let's get my first turkey. I don't know why they call it a turkey, but I want one. Oh, that looked like it was going to be another strike. And pick up the spare. Frame nine. Ooh. That was close. Ooh, seven pins, huh? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bowl it really slow. Try to roll it through. And I missed everything. Okay, frame 10. Here we go. Oh, left one in the middle. Who glued that one down? That looks good. So we'll get one last roll to finish off that spare. Not a bad roll. That was probably the best one of the day so far. A lot of consistency consecutive spares and strikes 168 man that was a good roll and I only got 168 this game is tough I guess you got to get more strikes huh well that's Dark Jedi hope you enjoyed the video let me know if you download this game maybe you'll see me in the alley I don't play this game a lot but it is addictive and you may see me hop in there from time to time thank you for watching you have a good day